I'm Glenn Conticello on Hartford All Access, and we are here with Julia Carr with the winning goal today and the victory in overtime over Sacred Heart. First and foremost, congratulations. Thank you. All right, talk about this match. You've got a young Sacred Heart team coming in. Felt Hartford had the better experienced team with a lot more seniors on the roster, yet in that first half, it seemed as if Sacred Heart had the better of the play. Um, I think they probably did. Um, but in the second half, we came out and we're a totally different team. And um, we took what coach said and performed. And we had more chances in the second half. And um, we just knew we were going to have it. And um, over time, I was very positive. I was confident I was going to get that goal in. And that's all I had to do. Well, that was your second shot in the match. Obviously, uh, you made good of it. Talk about how that play developed. It was pretty quick. It was quick. Um, all I remember was Elise getting the ball. She was driving. I was making that run in like I always do, and um, I knew it was coming to me, and I took a, a deep breath, took a touch, and finished it. How's been the transition for you coming from high school to college? Um, it's been pretty easy for me. I love soccer. That's all I have to do is play. Game doesn't get faster for you? Really? It, it is faster, but... Um, I adjusted things very well. So I'm here with the head coach of the Hartford Hawks, John Natal. John, congratulations. Thanks. All right, let's talk about this match. You came in against a in-state rival, very young roster. You and I spoke before the match, not sure what to expect from them because they had so many freshmen on their team, and it seemed as if, in my mind, maybe you might agree, in that first half, they had the better of the play. Yeah, I mean, I think in the first half we struggled a bit. Um, to be honest, we didn't accomplish the things we wanted to or addressed in, in, in the pregame talk, but... You know, it was a tale of two halves. I think we made those adjustments. We brought in some players that I think changed the game. Um, and the second half, I thought we we were the much better side. Coach, what were specifically those adjustments that you needed to make you felt in that second half? Well, to be honest, we just had to be cleaner on the ball. Um, and we had to play more penetrating balls forward, uh, be a bit more patient on the ball. We brought in like Kylie, who I thought did an excellent job uh, late in the first half, had a great second half. Um, you know, we moved sitters to the point to give us a little bit more pace up top, which I think pushed them back a bit and created more space uh, and time for us on the ball. Finally, Coach, talk about that final goal. Boy, it did not develop uh, uh, from one end of the field to the other. It quickly uh, developed into a scoring opportunity. Talk a bit about that. Well, we got the ball out wide to Elise, and we talked about driving out their back line. It's exactly what she did. She took her touch inside, ran at the back line. Julia came in, snuck in um, the back side of that. She slipped a nice final pass through, and, and Julia's a very composed uh, striker. You know, she gets those opportunities. She's going to score. Well, a victory is a victory no matter how you get it. You know, i got to believe you're happy with a non-conference win as you continually get ready for a conference action. Coach, congratulations. Good overtime win, and we'll talk to you down the road. Thank you. Head coach of the uh, Hartford women's soccer team. My name's Glenn Conticello. You're watching Hartford All Access.